ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank everyone here for taking the time off for joining us this morning. Now, I would like to invite Professor Dr. Fong Sun Fok, Director of Center for E-Learning, University Malaysia Sabah, to deliver his welcoming speech. Please welcome Professor Dr. Fong. Selamat pagi uh, kepada yang bahagia Datuk Profesor Dr. G. Kamaruddin D. Mudin, Naib Chancellor UMS kepada Timbalan Naib Chancellor Akademik Antarabangsa yang berusaha Profesor Dr. Rasimai Timbalan Naib Chancellor Pendidikan dan Inovasi yang berusaha Asosiasi Profesor Dr. Ramza Namun Orang Pendaftar UMS yang berusaha on Wina Jariani Yusuf Dekan-dekan Pengarah-pengarah Kesemua Ketua Jabatan Dan para jemputan Yang dihormati Selamat pagi Selamat datang uh, Masliis Penyerahan Smart ICT Tools Tersentuh <laughs> Today is a very special day Today is a very important day Today is a historical event Dato. Very historical Because before us Is a group of very specially Passionate E-learning champions They are the future of smart e-learning agenda in UMS. So, we like to say a very uh, special thank you uh, for your commitment, uh, especially all of you have been invited to receive a very special package of ICT tools. Okay? Now, I have to, I have to tell you that, you know, uh, this group of people, actually there are 50 of them. 40 something. But 50% uh, of them can attend, the other 50% due to official events, they are not here. But this group of people are, uh, we call it enthusiastic people, people who are inspired, people who got a drive within them, who are passionate. They come forward, okay? They come forward to know what is a smart e learning agenda and they would like to play a part to drive the realization of our smart e learning. So for this, I want to say thank you. And today, we this particular ceremony uh, is in the appreciation of this group of people. Okay. Now, I'd like to give a very brief introduction. Okay, and then afterwards, uh, Dr. Kenneth and uh, Inze Zufatli will come forward to give a very short, short demonstration on the use of the tools that we are actually providing. Let us refresh ourselves, okay? The smart e-learning at UMS, our mission is to attain UMS aspiration to be an innovative university of global standing to globalize online learning, to ensure inclusive and quality education, and to promote lifelong learning for all. Uh, those of you familiar, globalized online learning is referring to the shift number nine in our agenda. And in our mission, realizing UMS aim to achieve academic excellence and international recognition and to promote greater innovation and productivity by cultivating a meaningful and conducive e-learning environment. So we hope you know, that uh, through our e-learning champions, through our mentors, okay, we can cultivate a culture, an e-learning environment culture in UMS, where spontaneously Everybody naturally, seamlessly are using technology to enhance quality education. Not because of KPI. The Center for E-Learning has got the strategic and action plan and we have got the seven uh, strategic plan and 20 uh, action plan. And you can uh, look at the details concerning all the action plan 
in our website. Just go to PEP and the full illustration is all there. This is our nine ERA in UMS, and you can see that one of them, ERA1, on teaching and learning, blended learning, is also listed here now. And we believe that our Hala Juju from PEP will be able to support all the nine ERA, and in particular, blended learning. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Kenneth recently did uh, give out some survey form, okay, and we get some feedback. And also from previous uh, surveys that we did among students as well as uh, lecturers, we found that with respect to blended learning, among lecturers, they find that time saving. They find that the things that they upload now can be recycled and can be updated and recycled for future use. It's all the time archived. It is flexible. Some are not able to suddenly attend to their lecture. They have to go somewhere for official function. But here, the students are attending to the class by coming into Smart UMS. So it becomes very flexible. We're not so rigid. 2 o'clock p.m. I must be there on Thursday. Now suddenly, there's some flexibility given to you. So, and it is cost saving. Okay? Nowadays, uh, many of our assignments from our students, they're not coming back in terms of papers, but they are done digitally, and that is their work. They like to do things digital, digitally, and they can submit an, uh, the assignment to our Smart Event S. Of course, there are some courses that you will need the papers to be there, maybe drawing or whatever. And among the students, they like it because they say that they got engaged, they got to know the lecturers better. They get feedback from their lecturers. They get feedback from their students. And that, we felt, was very important. We are practicing Dato, the reality of constructivist learning, even social constructivist learning. We believe that knowledge is now being constructed by the group of peer groups of learners around themselves. So you need to be engaged. So we have the platform ready for them now. And they like it. They like it. Okay. Mobile devices, they say they're so happy because these days people are accessing smart UMS using smartphone. They say that it's too time consuming to open up a laptop. It's too heavy to carry a laptop. It's too, it's too late to go back to the room to open the laptop. The one device is always with them in the pocket. Okay, it's a mobile device. So smart UMS were able to access also to our mobile phone. So Students' preference, from the feedback, they are saying, we like to use technology to support our teaching and learning. And the survey came back, it came back, you know. We hope our lecturers make use of more technology. It's black and white, okay? And it's also in our report uh, on the baseline study concerning TEL in UFS. It's all there statistically from our students. So what we are doing is actually something that is supporting the lecturers as well as in line with the need of our current millennial students. And they like it, self-paced, self-access, self-directed. They feel that it is at 12 o'clock that I have time now to go and look at the particular problem given by my lecturer, and now I can give my feedback in the, to answer the quiz or to uh, get involved in the forum. Okay. So it is self-paced, self-access, self-directed, their time under the control, okay? They can access it at any time. And of course, it's interactive. It is so important that uh, whatever that we are presenting in Smart UMS, it shouldn't be just a YouTube where they just click play and then they sit down there for 10 minutes. No, we believe that the students should get engaged and they prefer to interact with the content. And this is what, uh, in PEP, okay, we've been conducting a lot of uh, courses, in-house courses, uh, to help bring our lecturers into the pedagogy of using technology. Your technology is so easy to just create a video and put it there for 45 minutes and let the student watch the whole thing. No. Okay? There are pedagogical approaches to make it more meaningful learning. So this is what, uh, on our part in PEP, we are doing. 
Okay, now come back to the real world. We have KPI to achieve. <laughs> so, in the last uh, KPI target 2018, we were expected to get 40 percent, and the actual achievement last year was 42.1 percent. So, give a clap for that. And among the top performers during the time happens to be the people who received Anukara Platinum for blended learning. And that is uh, Faculty Purubatan and Science Kesehatan, <laughs> as well as Pusat Persediaan Science and Technology. Yeah, they come with us in Congratulations. So, now with this uh, faculty level also, we give for free, okay? And it turned out to be very good. This semester, just semester one alone, okay, uh, we had 100% blended learning. Last year was only two. Now, <coughs> all these 100%, faculty science, makanan, and makanan. I should stand up there. <laughs> Faculty Perubatan dan Sains Kesihatan. Faculty Perjagaan Ekonomi dan Perakaunan. Dia kan ada sini. <laughs> Institut Biologi Perpingkat dan Pemerintahan. And also Pusat Pusat Sains dan Teknologi. 100%. So, suddenly we find that something is happening. Professor, thank you for all your support and the coordination and the drive. And now instead of two, we are having five. Okay? And very soon, I think, all. <laughs> okay. He's very good. KPI for MOOC, so the target actually set by the PAN. Uh, the PAN is our DASA uh, e-learning, uh, the professional e-learning agenda. So by 2020, UFS is supposed to be fulfilling 15 MOOC. We must produce 15 MOOC. But look, until the end of last year, we have already achieved 22 MOOC. So for this, of course, we have to thank our coordinator for OER and MOOC. And at that point in time, it was Dr. Kenneth. Dr. Kenneth, thank you. <laughs> okay. But the Kenneth uh, is one where you don't deliver in time, he goes to your room and sit down with you. <laughs> okay, now that is the, the, the type of people we need. Okay. And now uh, this coordinator for Koya and Book is passed over to Dr. Edmund. Okay? And with regard to Mook, at the present moment, ladies and gentlemen, uh, due to certain issues that happen with open learning, the platform that support actually our Mook. So, you will not be able to access it unless you pay. Okay? So, we are still correct, uh, having engagement with them okay, on what's the next step to do. But otherwise, the good news is, in three months' time, our coordinator for OER and MOOC okay, will deliver a new MOOC platform solely created originally by UMS. A platform. You are stuck with the burden. <laughs> okay. So, the architecture of it has already been drawn up already. So now the development is going on. Okay. And with that platform, we will be able to save UMS hundreds of thousands of dollars in just two or three years' time. And we will also make it in such a way that we will open it to other universities from third world countries that want to put their MOOC in our platform, no problem. We will have a big capacity. Okay, so we are working together with uh, JTMK on that purpose also. Okay, so the support that we are giving to our academic staff and as well as our <coughs> students. This is our website again. Okay, and over here you can see there is uh, our you know our objective, you know our vision, our mission. Our, there you are, Alatuju, they are all here. Okay? Uh, our gallery of all of our activities are listed over here. Our policy is here, and other links to other important resources to support your academic uh, need, they are all here. Also, note that uh, down here, our smart UMS can be accessed 
our MOOC, okay, our OER, our Facebook. Okay. So usually whenever we put something, usually somehow the first person to come and put a thumbs up okay, for whatever activities we are doing happens to be Tatu BC. Terima kasih. We are very encouraged, we are very encouraged. Thank you. So, this is the technology and labor planning policy, okay? And until now, it is actually available in a digital format, okay? And this was produced uh, bersama dengan PKPKA as well as JTMK, okay? And a very quick, very quick uh, recapture for those uh, who were not around during the time. Uh, in Pujolo 1A, it was just about a year ago only, okay, that we have a visioning workshop where during the time, uh, jointly organized by PKPKA and JTMK, okay, and the participants were all the deans, directors, lecturers, and e-learning coordinators. Okay. Then we came up with the first draft, okay, and then it was reviewed and complemented, and then we pass it over to Commonwealth of Learning. And here is where Commonwealth of Learning come in to give us very great support. Okay. They have the expert uh, in the international arena on e-learning to support us. So then they send back reviews, okay, and then uh, we review it, we got it uh, approved at the second draft, and then the workshop participants were all given a copy of the draft, and then given more reviews and comments, okay, and then we went back to Commonwealth of Learning, and it came back as a draft again, and the final draft was reviewed by UMS lecturers. We sent it to 100% of our lecturers. So all the comments were taken into account, and there were further amendments. And after that, it was sent over to be endorsed by the Senate, and it went two rounds in the Senate, and finally approved at the LPU level, and this is now, there you are, all the participants were there at that time, and that is Dr. Sanjaya Mishma, the e-learning specialist of the Commonwealth. And congratulations, it is now printed as a formal copy. So this particular copy, uh, printed copy, will be given to all head of department. And this is the one where with regard to teaching and learning and assessment, it is dictated over there. With respect to our support to our academic staff and our students in particular, our commitment is dictated there. So actually, we become binded, that's what I said. We become binded, committed now. We have to deliver. We need to deliver because we are driven by this policy now. And it was launched. Okay, so this is the uh, Sabah News today on 29 November. Uh, it was published as one of the headlines. Okay. It was launched. Ladies and gentlemen, I have this to say from Charles Darwin, I quote, it is not the strongest of the species that survive because there are changes everywhere. You look here, you look there, you look forward, changes are everywhere. It is not the most intelligent that will survive the change. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, changes in the education ecosystem is here today. Okay? And it calls upon us to respond. It calls upon us to adapt even tomorrow to re-adapt, even tomorrow to reinvent. And this is exactly what we've been doing. Okay? So I'd like to show you some examples of how we adapt to the changes. I call it adaptive to change. So for example, we invited uh, international uh, specialists to come. Yes, we can do it, but we wanted to actually uh, be in line with the international standards. So, Common of Learning sent uh, Dr. Indira Koniru from India, who is a specialist in Moodle, okay? And she helped us with branded learning development model, okay? And that particular model is today used by UNESCO. Okay, so that level. So, this group of people, they are also here. And they are our technology and able learning mentors. They are our e-learning champion. <laughs> so, 
they have been specially invited also to receive a package and they are the one who will drive the e-learning agenda in UMS in years to come. These are the future leaders here, okay? Then we realize that we need a robust repository. So before that, we already have one, okay? At the moment, we have one uh, e-print under the library. Okay, Tuan Haji Jababi, okay, knows about this. And we felt that for OER, since we are promoting OER, according to Kementerian Project, uh, we need to promote OER because it's the agenda of UNESCO. And Malaysia is a member of the UNESCO. And for this, we need a robust repository and we make use of this space. So we brought in a leader to support us. And the person that comes is Professor Prasad. And Professor Prasad happens to be the consultant for MIT OCW in USK. So the giants were here. Giants came to the UMS. Many of us spent their lives, but uh, some of us were trained especially by him. Okay? And the repository is working, functioning, in operation. So this is what we have. If you go to oer.umf.edu, this is our new repository. This repository is very robust. It meets the industry standard. It meets the internet standard. Okay? And we are coming up to actually endorse it for us. So all the faculties and institutes are actually here. Okay? Now, we call upon you, the champions, the deans, please uh, inform our academic staff that there is such a repository Come and populate it. It's time to populate it. When you populate this place, anything that you put over here automatically will be visible and registered in Google Scholar. All right. So it increase the visibility of our UMS talent. Even our students work as long as you can endorse it to be original. Put it here. Put it here. It increases the webometric ranking of our UMS. So, by the way, uh, I think I get to give a note to this uh, because the idea of repository actually was the brainchild of Dr. Kamaruddin uh, four years ago. <laughs> so at that time, we make use of another programming, okay? But later on, they find that that version you need to be more robust. And that's why Commonwealth suggests we change it to this space. But this particular slogan was one that actually was a brainchild of the beginning about four years ago by our Dato BC. Thank you, Dato BC. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is a glimpse, a little glimpse of what is available in our OER repository. And please take note that you can spread this among all our academic staff that they are eligible to actually deposit all the stuff here. E-books. Example, they registered this as not C copyright, but they use it CC, Creative Commons. And the BY here means if you take anything from any picture from my uncovering of the poem of Bonio, you must cite our need, citation. So this is what we want. We want our academic staff to increase our citation. This is the way, e-book, okay? And put it through our repository. It goes out to the world. It goes out to the world. And by the way, for you to have an e-book, you need E-I-S-B-N. And E-I-S-B-N is applied when you e to cite e-pembelajaran. Pusat e is not a direct thing dengan uh, pusat uh, perpustakaan di dalam Malaysia. So, we can apply for you. So, all you need to do is come up with a manuscript and then we have the normal procedure that we normally go through with the big UMS. Okay? Except under one condition. No payment given for the review work. Oh, okay. So, we need experts to come in in that area to review your work but they will receive a letter of appreciation from Pusat e Pembelajaran. And I think there is even more uh, more valuable okay, compared to the so-called money that they will receive. That's our philosophy over here. Uh, CC means everything free, you know. 
So we don't touch money. Uh, okay, another example of a book, okay? Matrix 2018, Matrix 2017. So this one is under FPSW and they compile to this work. Now, please remember, ladies and gentlemen, that our students are very talented. FKSW, they are so talented in their singing. And all of them, they are growing, they are art, original, original. So, could we promote our students? So, if you go in here and look at their book, you will see that the name of a student, synopsis of their painting is there, and even their email, we purposely put it there. So that we hope the industry will contact them. The industry people can be anywhere in the world. Okay? So our talents are here. And now they are being uh, promoted also through our repository. If you have e bulletin, for example, uh, Bonensis, okay? then uh, Dr. Monica, it was done just a few weeks ago. And you can share to the world. I usually like to ask, how many bulletins do you print? 100? The most, maybe 500? Then it will be only the 500 people who got the printed copy in their hand that will be able to actually benefit to know what is the important event that have taken place in your faculty or your institute. But today, ladies and gentlemen, this bonuses is not available not to 500 people, not to 10,000 people, it's open to the world to access. So we hope again, this visibility of the product of OMS will go out through this repository. Open Education Resources Center. Okay. Anything put here goes into Google Scholar and you can search it through Google. This search, you'll come up. Because there's a very strong, a good metadata there. Okay. In the metadata, you put your name there, you put some keywords there, you Google your name and the particular terminology, boom, it appears into Google search. Ah, YouTube. So we are promoting YouTube. For example, here is uh, Dr. Yorguda from SPSW, and she was given a talimat on Pernilisan Latin Ilmia. These are original. And they were going to just a small group of people, about 40 people, I think, at that time. And I was asking Dr. Luda, what if such a valuable information be made available to the whole of Malaysia? The answer was yes. To the whole of our region of South Asia? Yes. How about to the whole world? And that's what we are doing, the whole repository. Ladies and gentlemen, there are so many talented uh, academics in UMS. We call upon them, please, may the head of the department call upon them, okay, to come up not with one hour lectures, please. Five minutes, that little crystallization of the uh, island, you send it out. And that will promote them. You know what? Many people get invited as keynote speakers because of things like this. Okay? The particular one thing that is in Borneo, so unique, is our niche area. People go to here, they see, they invite us. And that's what we hope it will happen. Okay? from uh, Biotechnology Research Institute. This particular lecturer forgot to put his name, okay? But anyway, when you go in, you can see his name. So, I think it's by Dr. Wilson, okay? And again, PowerPoint. You use your normal PowerPoint, and you record and narrate your PowerPoint in your room. And then you put it into Smart UMS, and you tell the students, please go through this five minutes PowerPoint before you come for my class uh, next week. But next week, when they come around, they already have the concept, the understanding of this particular topic. And now we go into the depth of discussion. And that is blended learning. Blended learning and practice. You have notes. Your notes. As long as it's original, okay? Put it here. And they go into Google Scholar. Okay? They, you can, uh, people will search it through Google Search also. So, uh, today, we are, I'm promoting especially this repository because uh, the future of the visibility of the talent of VFS lies actually in this repository. 
even in cafe. Now, I just recall this, and then people change. So, FKSW started the first e-learning cafe, okay? And over here, they have a special uh, room where they put some computers over there, and those who are not able to fulfill the blended learning quota, there are certain people, okay? Mahadirin, Mahadirin, put up your hand. Yeah, you want to tell me this, right? Mahadirin, put up your hand. Mahadirin uh, have been the bring child together with some of the nine, uh, Dekan at that time, okay, and Dekan, Dr. Masita here, uh, present at that time. So many people go there, okay, and due to this, uh, their achievement has gone up tremendously. Also, faculty of psychology at Dr. Dekan has got now the second uh, cafe, it's called the EduTech. Okay, EduTech. Uh, Dr. Matno, where are you? Dr. Matno, <laughs> there you are, okay. Ah, there you are, there is. <laughs> yes, they have two. Huh? Oh, yeah, they have two. Cafe. Lagi Heba. All cafes, ladies and gentlemen, will be given special allocation of our ICT tools. And we hope that uh, those tools inside the cafe, many will come in and not alone, but bersama sama, you know, with other Pachara, uh, the build. OER, they build the course, video, five minutes, ten minutes, you know, or go by little chunk. Please do not produce 14 minutes lectures. Even if you want to, go chunk by chunk. But they can't tell me, but they can't. I have to you. The millennial kingdom, uh, millennial kingdom, right? the millennial people, the students of today, they cannot take anything more than 20 minutes. <laughs> so we have to go in line with their need. Measure what they need, they can do. Dear mentors, dear e-learning champions, may all of us continue to adapt and we adapt to the ever-changing education ecosystem. It is forever dynamic. Let us keep on moving forward together for the propagation, for the multiplication of technology-enabled learning and blended learning in U.S. And this is where PEP, our Pusat Ipun Belajaran, is where U.S. okay, bersama dengan our Halal Tuju, we will bring in smart pedagogy with smart ICT tools. Today, the tools we give you is just for the time being. It will become absolute, I tell you, in the year's time. Use it when it's still hot, okay? By then, there will be other tools, okay? But more important, more important than all this is the pedagogy that goes along with the different tools. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you.